Hello, what's up everybody? We are going to be doing some commentary on uh, the video week three, Welsh Waylords versus Kentucky Kingdras. Um, I know you had some trouble getting the audio working, so we're going to see, uh, th uh, this is the first time I've seen this match, um, so it's going to be a, kind of like a live reaction uh, slash commentary. Okay, so we're watching from the Welsh Waylords perspective. Looks like wanting to go ice mode off the bat. Choice Scarf for Nilix. Interesting take. So Choice Scarf for Nilix can actually outspeed Dragapult, which is really interesting. And it looks like it hits a lot of these monsters super effective. Um, really, uh, Arcanine is the only thing that threatens it, but Arctivish can cover it. So that's really nice. I think that's a good game plan. Um, doesn't bring the Togepi or the Dusknoir. So no redirection. Uh, no trick room mode. Not sure of the mons that, uh, moves, though. We're not, I'm not sure if Dustnor's carrying trick room. It's It's got this life orb, so it might just opt for a max. Um, the interesting thing is if, if he did go trick room mode, this purloin could just set up trick room. The other thing is, that's interesting is this purloin could actually just reset weather. I wonder if we see this purloin uh, potentially going for uh, like a sunny day uh, just to set up the Arcanine uh, because doing that uh, would allow the... Arcanine to hit the Arctivish and Vanillix really hard, as well as not having to deal with Aurora Veil or uh, big water moves. So we see Dragapult Purloin. Okay. So Purloin could, like, Sucker Punch here um, and set up a weakness policy. However, with Slush Rush and this Choice Scarf, um, depending on how much speed investment is in this Vanillix, they could both be outspeeding Dragapult right now. Um, we might see a Thunder Wave come out for the Purloin. A lot of speed control options here. Um, I wonder if we just see the straight max uh, from the Kentucky Kingdra side. Opting to double into the Dragon Pult. Does this, is this Purloin carrying weather? I think that's the big question here. Uh, we could see a fake out. Arctivish typically doesn't max, so a fake out into the Arctivish is fairly safe. We see a uh, fake out into the Vanillix, and no max. Does Dragapult take this Icicle Crash? I'm not so sure. It does. Okay. Um, considering the uh, Dragapult was... Uh, oh, it might be bulky. It's using light screen here. Concerning the Arctivish was not Life Orb or Expert Belt or anything like that, uh, um, yeah, I, I guess it's I guess it's understandable that the Dragon Bolt lived that. So he's got a light screen. However, the the Arctivish is physical, so uh, I'm not sure um, what the late game plan here is going to be from the Kentucky Kingdras. Because this Dragon Bolt and Purloin are looking really threatened here. Um, I'm not sure how either of them comes out alive after this turn, unless we see a switch. Hmm. And we still don't know if this Purloin is carrying a Prankster Weather move. We do see a switch. Expecting to take some ice moves. Okay, and the Intimidate on the uh, Arctivish is really nice here. However, uh, looks like Welsh Warrior Lords went with the White Herb, expecting this Arcanine... Uh, to intimidate, so we're back to normal now. Ooh, and we see an encore not able to switch to that vicious rend. I do think that's a little bit of a risky play, um, considering sometimes uh, Arctivish is uh, banded, anyways. Um, and so an encore wouldn't really do much. Uh, and the Arctivish could just opt to max, anyways, and and uh, ignore that encore. And ignore its choice band if it was carrying it, uh, but obviously, it did. Uh, we did see that it, it was white herb. So this purloin barely survived, which is huge. Uh, do we see like a sunny day potentially, and and just see this Arcanine, Arcanine opting to uh, throw off some max flares? I don't think purloin gets beat up. Uh, so we're not going to see a beat up justified. We see a yawn actually into the thunderous. That's huge because the thunderous could opt to set up electric drain, but since it's flying type, uh, it won't be able to take advantage uh, of that electric drain stopping the, uh, the 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 yawn. 
and Arcanine just opting to go for a flamethrower. Really slow playing this. Um, so we, Vanillix is gone, so there's really not a, a way to set weather now, uh, I don't believe, un unless uh, Welsh Waylord is opposite max. Problem is, you got these Arcanine at two-thirds health. Dragapult is at uh, about 25%, and, and they've got one Mon in the back. So Welsh is, has a little bit healthier Mons, and they both still have their Dynamax. Both playing is really slow. However, this Thunderous is Yawn, so we can. Uh, it is safe to assume a switch from the Thunderous. And I do like the uh, bringing out the Arctivish here. Uh, it does threaten the Arcanine, uh, as well as not revealing that last Mon. So uh, Kentucky King just doesn't know what this uh, Thunderous will switch out to if it opts to switch. It doesn't look like he's opting to switch, though. He's just going to take this Yawn and, and get damage off. Um, however, this Toxtricity... Uh, is, oh, he, he, he is going to go for the switch. Okay. I do like that play. Uh, an officious rend into the Arcanine. Because, really, this Metagross is really only threatened by this Arcanine. I mean, it can't be intimidated, but from, from the Max Flares. Uh, Toxtricity shouldn't be able to do too much against this Metagross. Um, however, an, an Overdrive would do big damage. And we're going to see who the Max is here. Um, is Kentucky Kingdra's opting to reset the weather with Arcanine? Ooh, we see a G-Max from the Toxtricity. Uh, some Paralysis would be huge. Poison would, would also be annoying just for extra chip, but uh, I think Paralysis is the more favorable. Uh, and honestly, whichever Mon this is going to do, this is going to do big damage. So Ficious Rend just takes out the Arcanine. Uh, double damage from going first. We see the Stun Shock into the Arctivish. And we'll see how it affects the Metagross here. Paralysis. I'm not sure if Paralysis is guaranteed there because he is a Steel-type. Um, it might be, though. And now, uh, obviously, uh, a Max Quake from this Metagross is, is what, ideally, Welsh Wailers would go for. However, um, uh, you, you do risk just losing out on these Max turns from, from Paralysis. And now the Dragobolt comes in. Um, is going to be the fastest Mon out here. Uh, might set up a Reflect, because uh, now we've got two physical Mons out here, too. And this, tox this Toxtricity is actually in really good position, I think. Um, does opt to Dynamax the Metagross. Uh, doesn't care about the Paralysis. I wonder if we see the Reflect from Dragapult. Even through a Reflect, this Toxtricity may go down to a Max Quake from this Metagross. Metagross is super strong. Um, really, really high attack stat. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see if this Dragapult possibly goes for a Phantom Force to, to get damage off on the Metagross, um, or just opts to set this Reflect and keep his Toxtricity healthy. This this Thunderous, though, can't really do too much, uh, except for take out the Dragapult um, and, and lower the speed on this Toxtricity, which could come into play to allow the Metagross to outspeed, uh, because the Paralysis is keeping it uh, at half speed here, but with a couple Electro Webs, um, this Metagross would uh, would outspeed the Toxtricity because they have a similar speed tier. And we do just see the Reflect. I think that's expected. Uh, the Crunch still, st still should take out the Dragapult here. But we see the Stun Shock first. Into the Thunderous. Interesting. Not going to take it out, though. Problem is, this Toxtricity... Oh, and that was a crit. We get the Poison. That's huge to chip down this Thunderous with Hail and Poison. Um, the problem is I'm not sure what this Toxtricity, even if it can live a Max Quake, or we do see some Paralysis, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to damage this Meteorous very well. And no Paralysis. We do see the Max Quake from the Meteorous come out. Does it kill through Reflect? It does. That'll be good information uh, uh, for next game for the Kentucky Kingdras. Welsh Warlord is going to pick this one up. Great prep, and uh, I, I think the, the ice was really threatening this game. Um, so now knowing that, that this uh, Meteorus has Max Quake, and knowing that the Toxtricity can't live it through Reflect after it maxes, um, I'm wondering if, how the Kentucky King just swaps up their game plan uh, and adjusts for game two. Uh, this Meteorus seems to be really threatening. I feel like an Arcanine Max could be the could be the uh, the way to go. You, know, you reset that weather, get rid of the hail. Water does less damage, and you threaten this Metagross. 
Um, and I think Arcanine's a little bit bulkier and not it's not double super effective. So an Arcanine should live a Max Quake, especially through a Reflect from a Metagross. Um, however, the problem is this Metagross does have weakness policy, and um, I'm not sure an Arcanine Max Flare would kill a Metagross unless the Sun's already up. So uh, the Purloin could be could be huge uh, with the with the weather control here. Serena doesn't really look very good. Um, it, it really only uh, threatens the Arctivish, and the Arctivish can just hit it with an ice move back. Um, in addition, uh, the Queenly Majesty really would only help against Prankster Thunderous, but um, it uh, this Thunderous is going to Soul Best. Clearly not Prankster. However, uh, you wonder if Kentucky King Joe is possibly picked up on that by the Crunch uh, play last game. All right, let's see. Let's see how the leads adjust for this game. So we do see the Arcanine Purloin. To me, this is uh, this is saying Sunny Day, um, or this Purloin may opt just to, instead of faking out the Vanillix like it did last turn, last uh, game. It may opt to just fake out the Arctivish, uh, not expecting a max, and uh, this Arcanine may we may just see a max flare into the Vanillix. Um, uh, so Welsh Whalers didn't bring any fire resists. Um, Max Flare hits everything for at least super effective or neutral. Um, and and since this Vanillix can't really do too much damage to Arcanine, and you could hit the Purloin, but I, I think Aurora Veil is really safe here. The, the issue there is it is scarfed into Aurora Veil, and next turn it'll have to switch out. Um, however, uh, the Arcanine may just may just go into it, and so it may get the Aurora Veil off, and then... Uh, the Arcanine may not even take it out with a flamethrower here. We do see the flamethrower. Just getting rid of this, just uh, trying to get rid of this Vanillix, but with the Aurora Veil, saves it. However, the burn is gonna is gonna chip it down slowly. Um, most likely, this Vanillix switches out anyways. Um, We do see another Ficious Rend, um, but without a Thunder Wave or a, a Weather Reset, I'm not sure how this uh, how this Arcanine takes this uh, Ficious Rend. It could swap out into Dragapult maybe to take it, uh, and Reset Intimidate now that the White Herb's gone on this, this Arctivish. Okay, we see the Dustnor come in for that Vanillix. It was, uh, and Perlon goes for another Encore, but it fails. And knowing that hails up and and with slush rush, um, Kentucky King just is opting to sack this Arcanine, um, potentially trying to overread a, a switch out from the uh, from the Arctivish. Um, but this Purloin, we we've, we've seen fake out, we've seen Encore. Um, interested to see what else, what other moves it has. Uh, even though. Arctivish is threatened by this toxicity. A Ficious Rend uh, in Slush Rush uh, is going to do big damage. And yeah, it looks like Welsh Whaler is opting to just double into this toxicity. It's not really threatened uh, by this Purloin at all. Uh, it can just kind of ignore it and and it, it'll get all my friends are dead syndrome. We do see the max from the toxicity again. Um, interested to see how much this Vicious Rend plus Poltergeist double up is. Um, Toxicity could be carrying uh, like Hex, uh, you know, and, and, and try to hit this Dustnor, but even then, I don't think it takes it out. Um, Perlon's going to taunt. Okay, so it doesn't want Trickrim to go up, however, uh, potentially expecting a taunt. Uh, it looks like Welsh Warlords brought an offensive uh, Life Orb variant of Dustnor. Great bring. Arctivist barely hangs on. If we get the poison, it, it'll take it out. Paralysis. That's not what you want to see. Double paralysis, however, uh, the Dustnord does not get paralyzed. Avoids the Poltergeist. Wow, that's huge. That, that would have done big damage. So now this Toxtricity is the fastest mod on the field. Um, it could hit this Dustnor for potentially a, a, a Big Max Ghost if it's carrying Hex. Uh, and the Purloin, if it has an, an attacking move, uh, could maybe take out this Arctivish. 
Uh, we've seen Taunt and Encore. Uh, however, those aren't going to be super helpful right now. I wonder if we see the switch out for Purloin to reset uh, Fake Out. Oh, I, and it had Yawn. Yes, I forgot about that. So that's just four moves. Uh, so this Purloin can't even attack uh, except with Fake Out. So that that forces this Toxtricity to, to actually waste a max move getting rid of this four health Arctivish. And that's... Uh, that's really annoying. Poltergeist. Hit by its choice specs. Wow, and it just takes it out. Kentucky King just no max. One mod in the back and a Purloin who, who really can't do anything except for attack with supportive moves. So so Welsh Warlords is, is put themselves in a really good position here. Just going to bring out the Vanillix. Um... Yep, and we do see the Dragapult. So, not revealing that last Mon. Uh, really smart. Uh, and this Vanillix, like I said, uh, with Choice Scarf can outspeed this Dragapult. So, uh, it looks like a Blizzard and uh, a, a double up with a, a Poltergeist should should clean this up. Although, Poltergeist can miss, so it looks like Welsh Waylords is opting to go for the 100% accurate Ice Punch. We do see the Yawn, but it fails. Uh because the dust is already paralyzed and the uh vanilla is already burned so so can't status him but uh a double crit oh my goodness just wipes the floor with these two mons vanilla cleaning up the kills and uh we're gonna see a 2-0 win from the welsh warlords 